The next thing that I want to show you is how to write equation numbers, okay, and automate them. So as you write the equation, the equation numbers become glaringly, increasingly available for you. So to insert the equation, the first thing I used to do is to insert the table. There's a table that I used to design and I make it sequential and in such a way that it keeps increasing as I insert the equation. So to insert the table, I can just come all the way to insert here and come to table. I usually have it in three cells. I just select the three cells and I can move the cells to the extreme edge, the borders. I can move them to the edges. Okay, I can move them to edges just like so. And I usually want my equations to have these three dots before the parentheses. Okay, so the three dots, then my parentheses, number one, number two, number three, just like so. So what I usually do is I can come inside this parenthesis and then I can put in the sequential control. Okay, inside the parenthesis and I define the sequential control. So I just make sure that my cursor is inside the parenthesis and then I can come back to insert. I can go to field over here and make sure the category selected all and then you can come all the way to sequence, right? Letter S so you can see sequence. You can see sequence over here and then I can make it sequential equation. Okay, equation like this, leave everything as it is and click on OK and you can see it has given us numbering one. Okay, so we can come back inside this center cell and go to equation, come to insert and then you can go all the way to equation and you can see the equation editor has been inserted. Now with the equation editor inserted, we can select this and save it as a preset. So anytime I can always refer to it, I can select it, come to insert again, come all the way to equation, click on this small drop down and save equation to gallery. Okay, you can select to save this equation. I can make it equation table, something like that and you can just say okay. And any given point, I can easily insert the equation from here. So let's say I want to insert my equations here. I can just select this, copy, and then come inside this equation editor and just paste it. Okay, so you can see it. And what I usually do, I usually remove the borders. I select this and then I can come all the way here, come all the way to the home tab. Okay, and then come to this border effect and then say no border and everything goes back out without border and now appears more professional without the border okay so if i want to insert another equation here i can just go ahead and come to insert and come to equation over here and just go all the way down i can see equation table over here and i can see it over here so very easily you can just start writing your equation i can select here and i can come back here and insert any equation of my choice for example i want to insert this equation you can see i have inserted it but then i have the option to manually removing the borders okay you can remove it manually and see no border or you can do it at the same time okay at the point of creation of this table okay you can remove the borders at that point one thing you should pay attention to is the sequential increase you see it keeps on increasing if i want to add another equation it's going to increase the same way okay so you can see inside equation then i can go to equation table and you can see I can just select it and come to equation. I want to put in any equation. You can see it has inserted it and it has given me the equation number three. You can select, come to no borders and select no borders and you can see you are done. But then what happens when consistently you can add and it remains updated if you have to have another equation at the top or in between the uh, equation one and two, what happens after that? Well, let's say at the top here, we insert another equation come here and then go to over here and then insert another equation. But unfortunately, you can see it is giving us equation one. Okay, so let's say we insert this equation. We can come over here, insert this long equation. And then you can see it's still making equation one. So what I used to do is I select the entire equation in that document. I used to select the entire equation. Then I can right click anywhere and say update field. Once you say update field, it's going to update it to one, two, three, four, uh, just like so. So it's made to give all your equation numberings professionally. So let's select this and say no border and you can see it is now perfectly done. So you see how easily you can add equation numbers to your equations.